All right, guys, Kenny here. Small, Kenny's small engine repair. All right, here we go. My favorite engine, the Briggs E-Series. Now, I used to hate these things. I really did. But once I realized the design of it and everything else, I kind of like them. But here's why I had the deep hatred for these, okay? Now, this guy had a plastic bag on it. He just dropped it off maybe an hour ago. I was out to lunch with my good friend, Hank Henry Morowski. Come back, and he goes, oh, the guy dropped it off. I said, the driveway. So, okay. So, I'm looking at it. What's going on with the muffler shield? Why would you bend back the muffler shield? What's going on with that? Okay, I don't know. So then I said, all right, let me check the air filter out. So I take the air filter. The guy's claim was, I went, it ran out of gas. I went to go put gas in it. Now it won't start. Okay, air filter. What's that look like? Oh, wait a minute. Is that a pre-filter? No, that's dirt. I thought it was a pre-filter. I thought it was a foam pre-filter. No, 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 that's just dirt. Okay, so number one, you're not breathing, okay? So you never took care of this. He said it's only two years old. Well, it's a piece of garbage, but anyway, two years old. I said, let me check the oil, all right? Here we go. Ready? What's on the dipstick? Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, nothing. Absolutely nothing on the dipstick. So I'm saying to myself, self, do you put oil in it? Squirt a little fuel in it and see what happens? Who knows? I'm pulling on the cord a little bit. Doesn't feel like there's much compression. So who the heck knows what's going on with this thing? So I'm going to throw a little bit of oil in it. Then I'm going to try and pull on it and see what happens. All right. We'll be back in a minute. But then again, like I said, no oil, air filter that, come on, you know? All right. Let me get set up. I'll be right back. All right. Let's throw some 1030 in there. Kawasaki synthetic blend. Nothing. Oops. No, that's used motor oil. We don't want to put that in there. Used motor oil. What's that doing? We don't want that in there. Don't want used motor oil in there. Let's grab some new motor oil. Be back in a minute. That would have been kind of tragic. All right, here's a half a quart of 1030 left over from a job I did over the weekend. Let's see what shows up on the dipstick, if anything. Bone dry. Bone dry. full. All right. We're going to pull the cord. See if anything happens. It's got fuel in it. Contact. I think it was a good thing it didn't start and i think it didn't start because of this air filter that's totally absolutely clogged i'm going to put this air filter on it i'm going to put a clip on it so it stays running i'm going to stick this air filter on it let's see if it shuts it off let me grab a clamp all right here we go it's running let me put this on let's see if it shuts it off It breathes with that thing on there. Anyway, 
thankfully, this thing didn't start. It literally had no oil in it. I put 16 to 17 ounces of oil in it. It had nothing, okay? So I'm going to uh, put a new air filter in it. I'll wipe it down a little bit. I'll bend back that muffler shield or whatever. But at this point, you know, it's ready to go. Like I said, I like the E-Series. Don't get me wrong. I do like them, but people abuse them. No oil. Well, what do they say? You never have to change it. No, you just got to keep filling it all the time because the way the PCV systems work on these, it sucks it up through the air filter and, and, and burns it. If you look inside this air filter, it's full of oil in here. See it? It's full of oil. The PCV system is such that you can see all the oil that was in there. It tracks all the dust and dirt. The PCV, PV, positive current gauge ventilation, PC, PVC, PCV system is so good on these that it sucks the oil out of the crankcase and it burns it, okay? So make sure you have good air. Once a year, guys, spend the 10 bucks, buy an air filter, okay? And check the oil every time you use one of these E-Series engines, guys. This thing probably cost the guy two, $300, you know? I'm just gonna call him up, tell him what happened. I'm gonna sell him an air filter, the oil, you know, 10 minutes of my time, but just check this stuff. Oil, air filter, simple stuff. All right, guys, that's it for now. Briggs E-Series, yeah, good engine. You just got to make sure you keep it fed and uh, keep it healthy. All right, that's it for now, guys. We'll talk to you soon. Cheap. Perfect. All right, let's see if she does it. Well, let's bend back this muffler. It's there so you don't get burned. All right, let's try it again. Everything works. What do you figure, guys? 40 bucks? 50 bucks? New air filter, oil, my brain. Yeah, at least 40. All right. Talk to you soon, guys. Take care. Hey, guys. Kenny here, back in the shop. Just an addendum to this video. The customer came by. First time I've met him. His name is Dan. Great guy. Nice guy. Lives a few miles away from me. And I said to him, I said, uh, did you ever check the oil? He says, well, you know, it tells you you never have to change it. I said, no but you have to check it. The thing about the E-Series engines, that's what sold him on this thing. It's a fairly inexpensive mower, but they're probably about $300 now. But he's like, oh, you never have to check the oil, change your oil. Who said you never have to check it? Did you read the manual? You do have to check it. So I gave him a half a quarter of whatever was left because it took the full 16 ounces. And I said to him, here's the other 16 ounces. Check it every time you use it. Now, I probably will never see the guy again, although he said because of the fast service and the good pricing and all that stuff that he's going to come back and he's going to tell all his friends. But all I'm saying, guys, E-Series engines, tell your customers, check it every time, every time. Just like with any power equipment, motorcycles, cars, check them. It's cheap. Oil's cheap, relatively. So, you know, especially Briggs E-Series engines, those PCVs, they use oil. The inside of the air cleaner was full of oil. You got to do it. He thought it was a no-maintenance mower. You just pull it and go. So, anyway, he's happy. I'm happy. Briggs E-Series, I do like them, but you got to keep oiling them. All right, that's it for now. Talk to you soon.